have some sand and we have some turbos. Alright guys, on today's episode we are going to test how strong our G-Turbo Titanium Turbos are. So here I've got a VD a Titanium and a standard VD Turbo. This one has about 5,000 Ks on it and so does this one, so about the same. They're both good turbos, they can both go on cars. But what we are here to test is how strong the compressed wheels are. So what I'm doing... Here I come. Oh, here I come. Is I've got two tubes. I'm going to fill them both with sand and Jerry, Jerry rigged them up here to feed the turbos. And we are going to absolutely feed them with sand. I've got over 40 kilos of sand. And if one doesn't break in that, I'm going to Bunnings and getting some more sand. So we're here to absolutely destroy them. So let's go. Oh. I'm going to fill both the cat fucking turbos up with some oil and tap them off so they can spin fast. Just chuck some oil in there, chuck some oil in there and then we'll cap them up. Got air hose running to an air compressor <laughs> and we've got an air hose running to another air compressor. So we want to keep this test as accurate as possible because I'm a scientist. <laughs> right, so I've I've had a chat to our engineers and they told me to do it myself. So what I've done is I've engineered this setup to actually test the true step, true, true strength right. of the compressor wheel. So we're gonna feed these turbos with half of this 20 kilo bag each, so 10 kilos each. And we're gonna see where we're at, and then we're gonna go another 10 kilos and see where we're at. But, um, yeah, let's do it. All right, I got my protection on. I don't wanna like pull it in. All right, guys, got my PP on. It's time to rock and roll. Let's go check. <laughs> Holy shit. That's Holy fucking crazy. Shit. Wow. You, you guys seen how much sand we put into this thing? We've seen turbos way worse than that. Like a million times worse. So, and I, I just put like, maybe two kilos in if that and it looks like that so <laughs> it's crazy to see how easy it is to destroy that compressor wheel and that's probably spinning it maybe half what the car actually spins it to <laughs> right, it's titanium time the standard turbo is um definitely worn down we've chucked Probably nearly half the bag in. We're gonna chuck the rest of the bag into the titanium. So yeah, let's see how it goes. Later. 
Last of the bag, eh? Alright, so I just finished the bag. I put the whole bag in here. It's fully seized up. So I'm gonna clean up both of them and then we'll do a side-by-side -side comparisons to see where we're talking. So half the bag went into the standard, half the bag went into the G400 titanium. Yeah, let's do it. Moving on from yesterday's experiment between the titanium and the standard VDJ turbos, I'm gonna rip these covers off and measure the compressor sizing between a brand new one and uh, after 10 kilos gone through them. So I'll rip these off now and uh, we'll, we'll get into it. Still a little bit of sand in there. <laughs> that is very, very worn. That's not so. Jesus. <laughs> Fuck, that's a lot. <laughs> I didn't realize how worn it was until now. So basically, we spun these turbos up to maybe a quarter of what they actually do on the car. We actually put two and a half kilos in through the turbos, what it's actually supposed to be spinning at. It would have done probably more damage if not the same. So it is a good comparison. Here you go guys. Still a little bit of sand on there. No one near as much damage as the sander. Not even close. the titanium, it looks like it's taking the leading edge off the compressor wheel, which maybe it's took about not even a mil off. So this turbo, honestly, you wouldn't even tell the difference between like a brand new one and something like this. Maybe it's got its loss about 1% of the boost response. But honestly, if this was on your car, you wouldn't even be able to tell the difference. So. It honestly shows you how much stronger the titanium is compared to the, the cast alley. I've got a titanium compressor here, this is a brand new one. The comparison difference, it's lost a bit of the shine from being obviously sandblasted. Uh, <laughs> we'll just quickly measure this standard one here, this is brand new. The inducer size is 50... 3.78 and the sandblast one is 53.75 so it's point it's lost point three of a mil point zero three of a mil sorry so honestly you wouldn't even tell the difference I think I think probably what it's lost most as is the X juicer size it's probably lost a little bit of the tip, the sharpness. Um, but other than that, it's pretty good. Like, I'm shocked. So I got a standard compressed wheel from a brand new VDJ turbo. The inlet, the inducer size of the compressed wheel is 44.4 mil. Look, these are rough estimates, guys. Don't. Don't come at me. <laughs> um, and then the inducer size of the 10 kilos of sand, it's about 40.78 mil. Obviously the leading edge, the leading edge of the compressor wheel has lost a lot more, so I can't really get the perfect measurement, but it's uh, lost about four mil. Um, of the inducer side, and then I'd say it's lost a bit more between the inducer side and the exducer side, which is absolutely nuts. The titanium lost 0 0.03 of a mil, and the alley has lost about four millimeters of the compressor, so that's absolutely nuts. But yeah, guys, jokes aside, 
There's not really a comprehensive test between the two turbos, but it just gives you a good indication between titanium and cast aluminium. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, stay tuned, guys.